to Jay Learner. I am Mom Lorena and I will be your teacher for ELE CSS9. Today is a great day to learn another interesting topic in computer systems for Missing Night. Are you excited to learn something new? Then what are you waiting for? Grab your module, your notebook, or a piece of paper and a pen, and let's discuss the topic, use of proper hand tools and testing equipment. So with that, let's get started. First, let's define our learning objectives for today. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to 1. Identify the correct tools and best equipment to be used. 2. Use appropriate tools and best equipment when performing the task. And last, follow the safety measures properly. When you were in your exploratory class in Kelvin, you have learned the different parts and components of the computer and their functions. But what if those parts become like this? Have you ever experienced this kind of keyboard? What about if you accidentally spill a cup of coffee on your computer? How will you fix it? So that's why we have the different computer hardware tools. In the previous lesson, you have learned all about the tools from electrostatic discharge tools, hand tools, cleaning tools, and diagnostic tools. But today, we will be focusing only on the appropriate use of hand tools and testing equipment. Before you start working, it is essential to know the hand tools and equipment that you need in order to perform the task properly. As you have learned in the previous lesson, a tool is a handheld device that aids you in accomplishing distinct tasks. Meanwhile, equipment is a tool or machine that you need to do a particular job or activity. Before you do any work on your personal computer, or before you even think about opening the system unit, the monitor, or other computer peripherals, it is recommended that you have a computer tool kit. The usage of each tools and equipment is very important because as a good troubleshooter, you must have the knowledge about the tools and equipment when dealing with computers. Now here are some tools and testing equipment that you need. First, we have the side cutter pliers. It is a tool used for cutting or trimming of connecting wires or terminal leads in the circuit board. Next, we have the long nose pliers. It is used for holding, bending, and stretching the leads of electrical components and connecting wires. And we have also the crimping tool. It is a tool made up of metal and a plastic rubber handle that is used to press into small folds, to frill, and to corrugate. And we have the cutter. It is a tool used for cutting wires. And we have here a flathead screwdriver. It is used to drive or fasten negative flathead screws. If we have a flathead screwdriver, we have also Phillips screwdriver. It is the opposite of flathead screwdriver. Because it is a tool used to drive or fasten positive slotted screws or crosshead screws. Next, we have a soldering iron. It is a tool used to join two or more metal conductors with the support of soldering lead around it. And we have also the soldering tool. It is a tool used to unsolder unwanted parts or components in the circuit with the support of soldering pencil. Next, we have the tweezers. It is a tool used to hold small, sensitive parts of a computer. And we have a flashlight, a small electric light that gives light in dark conditions. Next, we have also a paintbrush. It is a device 
made of bristle set in handle that is used for cleaning sensitive parts of a computer. We have also a magnifying glass, a device made in glass with handle used to exaggerate or to increase the apparent size of an object. Next, we have a LAN tester. It is a device used to test the network connection. We have also the boat, holes, milliameter that is used for testing the current, the resistance, and the voltage. And last, we have the anti-static restraught. It is used to eliminate electrostatic discharge in your work area. So those are the hand tools and testing equipment to make up your computer tool kit. But not only that, you also need to wear PPE or personal protective equipment. Why? It is to keep you safe while performing the task. Remember, you must use the proper PPE that is appropriate for the task. PPE refers to protective clothing like goggles, helmets, or other gears that is used to protect your body from injury. When and where do you usually see or use a PPE? That's right, in your science subject, you need to use a PPE during the laboratory experiment. Also, in TLE cookery, you also need a PPE when you are cooking. So here are some PPEs that you need when you are working a task or a job or an activity inside the computer workplace. First, we have a goggles. It has a large spectacles with shields around the rim that is used for protecting our eyes. Next PPE, we have the gloves. It is a covering material which is used for hand protection. And we have also the apron. It is a garment worn over the body in order to protect our clothes. Next, we have the rubber sole. It is a special type of shoes used to prevent electrical shocks and for waterproofing and insulating purposes. And last PPE, we have the face mask. Covering for the face to prevent inhaling and absorbing dust and other chemicals. So those are some of the PPEs that we use when we are in the computer workplace. And all of those hand tools and PPEs will not function if you cannot take care of them. So here are some safety checks that you need to remember. First, safe check. Do not use flammable cleaners or water in electrical equipment. Two, make sure designated walkways are kept clear for any obstructions. Third, always wear protective clothing and appropriate safety equipment. And last, safety check. Make sure that you understand and observe all the legislative and personal safety procedures when carrying out the task. For your protection, you must observe those safety checks and requirements. Now, let's have our activity. You may answer these on your notebook or any piece of paper. Identify which of the following safety practices is correct or wrong. Put a check mark if the statement is correct and put an X if not. Number one, the use of hand protection like gloves will provide protection against cuts, abrasion, and repeated impacts. Number two, you may use pliers as substitute for a wrench when turning bolts and nuts. Number three, always use a screwdriver teeth that properly fits the slot of the screw. Number four, always use a sharp blade. And number five, screwdrivers can be used as a pry bar, chisel, and punch steerer or scraper.
Let's have a reflection on what you have learned in this topic. In your notebook, copy and complete the following sentences. I have learned that. I realize that. And I will apply. Now we're done. Let's have our short quiz. Again, you may answer this on your notebook or any piece of paper. Assessment. Identify the tools and PPE being described. Number one, a tool used for cutting or trimming of connecting wires or terminal LEDs in the circuit board. Number two, a special type of shoes used to prevent electrical shock and for waterproofing and insulating purposes. Number three, it is a device used to eliminate electrostatic discharge in your work area. Number four, a large spectacle with shields around the rims for protecting the eyes. Five, a device made of bristle set in handle used for cleaning sensitive parts of a computer. Number six, the covering material with a separate sheet for each finger used for hand protection. Number seven, used for holding, bending, and stretching the lead of electronics component or wire. Eight, a garment worn over the front of the body as a protection for one's clothes. Number nine, a tool used to join two or more metal conductors with the support of soldering lead melted around it. And number 10, a covering for the face to prevent the inhaling or absorbing dust and other chemicals. Now let's check your answer. Here are the answer. Number one, side cutter pliers. Number two, rubber sole. Number three, anti-static wrist strap. Number four, goggles. Number five, paintbrush. Number six, gloves. Number seven, long nose pliers. Number eight, apron. Number nine, soldering iron. And number 10, face mask. Did you get all the correct answer? If yes, that's good to know. If not, you may read again your module or watch this video lesson again. For your additional activity or assignment, State the function of the following tools and testing devices. Number one, crimping tool. Number two, cutter. Number three, Phillips screwdriver. Number four, tweezer. And number five, land tester. And that will be all for today. See you in our next topic.